So Fiona and Stan, you just put the boat on the uh, on the trailer and uh, you're looking very pleased with yourself. <laughs> Had time to calm down, I guess. Yeah. Um, Fiona, in that race, you were just <clears throat> off, like, up out the seat as soon as you crossed the line. Yeah, I, I'm so excited, really, really ecstatic. Um, I think it sort of like means a little bit more this time round than yeah. last time. I think it's, you know, people say it's easy to do it once, but doing it twice, it's always a little bit harder. Video and I think bomb, also... Video bomb! <laughs> <laughs> the, the, challenge, the challenge also even more this, so this year, you know, we, we lost four good guys in uh, Andy and Mo and George and Alex. But, um, you know, the guys, we changed it around and probably better than last year, actually. I think we probably won by a bigger margin. Well, I think, actually, <laughs> in terms of, I mean, you were so smooth. Uh, Constantine, if your mum's watching this on YouTube, your hands are very fluid. I saw you paddling this morning. There was so much time in the boat on the way forward. You must be pleased how the rhythm's turned out. Definitely, yeah. The stroke seat's easier seat to row when everyone's doing the same thing as you. And I think when we shifted the order around, the aim was just getting everyone doing the same thing. And what happened to be me in that stroke seat, which kind of meant I had to be the stubborn one and they had to fit in line with me. So it's quite an easy job for me. Um, it's a bit of a journey for you because I remember chatting about when you were in the stroke seat and you felt the pressure in the boat race crew, yeah. you moved back to six, but you know, yeah. you've well, grown was, up, you've uh, yeah, matured now, was, haven't you? It's three years ago. Yeah. Uh, feels like longer actually. Yeah. But um, yeah, definitely. It's, I, I feel I've made that seat my home. And uh, I don't know, as I say, it's just really easy when everyone's on the same page and you're not, you, you're not dragging them out there, you're not forcing it up, you're just like setting the tone and they're, just, they're doing the work with you. Really good. Really so the good. two of you, you've got a great partnership, Stoke yeah. and uh, Cox. How is it working in the race? I mean, how are you working together? How yeah, are you seeing yeah, it? It's, it's great. I, I don't say a lot. I've maybe said together once or something. Yeah. Just just <laughs> when the going was getting tough, and I just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page. Didn't didn't lose it. Um, uh, but no, the partnership's great. Feeling yeah. is just razor sharp. He's got you know he's got no ego about him. He just wants to make the crew go as quickly as possible. And what's made the difference since Lucerne? I mean, you were pretty disconsolate there, third place, but you know, way back. What's made the difference this last six weeks? I think one, you know, like the the, the order change, you know, playing around with that. And I think uh, you know, it's it's more more sort of like time time in the boat. We haven't had much time in the boat in Lucerne. We've had a lot more time in the boat. And I think what's been really good is that everyone's been really open-minded. We, and you know, whatever, you know, we talk about a bit of a cliche, but whatever we talk about, we execute on the water, and we're not afraid to make mistakes. Um, and you know, from those mistakes, we've been learning the whole time. And I think that's that, that's been exactly what you've seen, sort of like in our progression. We did the heat. We made a few mistakes off the start. We learned we needed to be more aggressive at the start. We executed that better for the rep. Uh, showed a little bit more, but we realised that still wasn't enough. Um, and then today, you know, we we build on that and executed the best yet. And finally, Stan, I mean, you're known for a man who decides what he wants to do. You've said I'm staying at Oxford, you're not in the squad. If you use me, if you want to, and, you know, that confidence has really stood you in good stead, hasn't it? I think so. Well, you know, I'm doing a degree and I, I plan to finish it. Um, and I've got one more year, I, you know, these things are performance based and if I meet the performance standards which I think I have uh, then they're going to put me in and it's going to be like that next year and then it's going to be full time into the Rio Olympics hopefully and I, I hope you know this is just the start I hope you're a star as is this little man second year in a row world champion thanks yeah. guys Brilliant. thanks Brilliant. Martin cheers